वाक्यकमार का खाना था कुछ होना चाहिए था ना उसे उसे कोई राक्षस तो नहीं खा जाएगा जाने दो हे भगवान रक्षा करना उस खमंडी मूर्ख की जो भाग निकला ओ और मेरे लिए सारा खजाना छोटे संभल के चुपचाप ओ वो ठीक है वो गहराई में क्या कर रही है वो दोनों कौन है मुझे नहीं पता था कि यहाँ इतनी सारी चट्टाने हैं ठीक है चढ़ते रहो लगभग पहुंच गए ये क्या है ये पत्थर है क्या ऐसा लगता है कि ये वहां मौजूद बदसूरत मूर्तियों में से एक है अरे ये क्या हिल सकती है वाओ ये बिल्कुल वैसा ही है वैसा ही किताब की कहानी की तरह हाँ ये सही है वो खजाने की रखवाली करने वाले गोलेम वो सच है मैं जानती थी और वो अजगर जो महल को खाता है वो रतन जो समुन्द्र को तोड़ता है खुल जा सिमसिम मिस शर्जा झूठ बोल रही है वो परी कथाएं नहीं है इसमें कोई आश्चर्य नहीं कि उसके दो सहायक हैं। वो खजाना खोजने वाले हैं। उन्होंने रक्षकों को हराया है ओ हा बस छुपकर उनका पीछा करो और मुझे कम से कम थोड़ा सा खजाना मिल जाएगा जो वो पीछे छोड़ गए हैं। जैसे कासिम ने तराजू से सिक्का निकाला था ओके ओके आई थिंक आई अंडरस्टूड एवरी हिंदी वर्ड बट नन ऑफ दम मेक एनी सेंस एनी मोर वन पुट टूगेदर You're saying, Kumar, that Kumar I know, the sister whom I've only seen once in my life, is also my tutor in the university. Plus, she's a bad guy associating with the Manius. So 
about these abnormal growth curves. The fluctuation of celestial energy is a man-made result? Actually, I'm not 100% sure about their association. But yes, your conclusion about the growth curves is right. The fluctuation was caused by an unnamed celestial body and its existence is only known to Kamar and me. It was the object of our research at Banner University. At that time, we found some Arcanum-related materials very helpful for our project. But then... She was way too radical. Arcanum is strictly prohibited in the field of human science and we were expelled from the university. After that, our disagreement got even worse. In the end, we took different paths. But apparently, neither of us gave up on the research. We could frequently feel the existence of each other from the changes of the celestial body. And one day, I found an abnormality during the observation. The energy never fluctuated in such a fierce and peculiar way. I decided to contact her, but when I finally found the lab she had worked in, the staff told me she had already left. Our common friend told me she had seen Kumar by coincidence. She saw her leave with Amanis. And I found this from what she left behind. I compared it to the hole in the wall. It does come from this cave and it has something to do with the arcanum related materials on that celestial body. But Kumar never makes mistakes. This one is more like a clue she left to me. Hmm, I don't understand her. Judging from the situation, apparently I'm not the only one invited. Oh, this is getting even stranger than seeing those moving statues. Like I said, I am, well, to be more precise, I almost am the last living member of my family. This stamp was supposed to come from a special seal that belongs to the heir of the family. Unfortunately, it was passed down to me and I lost it to a bear many years ago. I checked the postmark on the envelope and found the letter came from this remote cave where even rock pigeons don't bother to pay a visit. Since it is highly unlikely that the bear with my seal in its belly would take transport all the way to a cave to send me a letter, I decided to come here myself and find out what this was all about. But there's one thing I found weird in what you said. As far as I know, my sister is even worse than unqualified, if taken as an arcanist. She's almost like a human. It's nearly impossible for her to use the most basic arcane skills. And this? This is not something a random person from our world can do. Is she really able to control these things? No, she can't. But she has a solution. A solution even I am not aware of. Theoretically, our skills can only create illusions and nothing more. 
But if the man has really offered to help her, even though I don't want to think this way, she may be able to do that. Oh, I forgot the manas part. Alright, all I know is, if this letter is really an invitation from her, I guess this won't be a delightful trip for me. <laughs> I've heard about that incident in her family. And I don't think her ultimate purpose is just to gather us here. Thank goodness I met you here, young lady. Can't believe I ran into a Foundation investigate. <clears throat> don't, don't mind the title. Every member of the Foundation is obliged to contribute to the cause of peace. Let alone an arcanist as extraordinary as I am. That's great. Ma Sarasati Kavardhan hai. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, how fortunate the Foundation has been to have such an excellent subordinate like I am. I hereby apply for assistance to the Foundation as an astronomy professor and an arcanist. Yes, Miss Kalabauna? Rather than find Kumara and the Manis, we have something more important to do now. Something more important? We need the Foundation's assistance to evacuate the villagers and tourists in Moorpunk Village as soon as possible, because that near-Earth astro... No, no, it's not an asteroid. That celestial body we study, not able to be observed by human technology, is approaching this village at a dangerous speed. It reaches level 5 on Torino scale and 0 0.01 on Palermo scale. What? In brief, the meteor shower that is occurring during Deepa Festival will become a disaster of meteoroids. I tried to ask organizations in the surrounding areas for help but this village is out of Chandigarh's jurisdiction. Besides, the villagers refuse to accept help from any social organizations related to humans. The good news is, there are still days before the Deepa festival starts. We still have time to evacuate the people. Meanwhile, I will do whatever I can to find Kumar and stop her, no matter what her next step is. If the Foundation offers its assistance, I will provide any support when needed. So this... this is her real? Yes. In this case, what happened in the caves was probably nothing more than an experiment. I'm not sure why she's doing this, but I won't allow such an abuse of our hard work. It is our work, after all. That's why I must stop the star from falling. Daddy. Um... Did you guys hear anything? खराब सबसे खराब परिकता है यहां कोई खजाना नहीं है और अब अब तो यहां चट्टाने भी नीचे गिर रही हैं मुझे मुझे वापस जाना है और सभी को चेतावनी देनी है Gonjira? Um, Miss Shaja, why, how you find this place? Of course I can find it. It's your secret base, right? Uh, 
a secret base in others' house without the owner's permission? Well, well, well. Uh, no, 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 Mr. Ja. I- it's not time to judge me. Something huge just happened. Sorry, sweet Jalebi. Your tricks never worked on me. Taught a jar to steal, broke into an old house. Let me check your pocket. I knew it. Whose wallet is this? Did you forget what I've taught you? Y- yes, I do all these. I'm sorry, Miss Sharja, but let me down. It's too late. If we don't leave now, the village is going to destroy. Uh, what are you babbling about this time? It's real, not lie. I even run all the way back from the shrine like idiot and leave Tuk Tuk I borrow from Uncle Sinha there. Ah, you went to the shrine and ate the offerings again? Young miss? I'm really sorry, but you must believe me this time. Where are the others? Where they go? We must tell them now. They must take train and leave this place today. (sighs) They went to the street for business. What on earth is happening? Listen to me! I'm I'm catched by a stone hand in the shrine's cave and and I see the treasure hunters I hear what they say They say a big big stone called M- meteorite will fall and smash the village when Deepa festival start Honey I told you they are just fairy tales No it's true those statues actually move. Oh, the lock's broken, but that's okay. I know the place well. Though Kumar hasn't come here very often in the past years, it's a good place to start with. You are... (gasps) Hey! That's in your hand! Is that my wallet?